When building a PC, the motherboard is among the most essential components you can have, making it vitally important to choose the right one for your needs. We have compiled our list to highlight the best offerings of the year, considering price, functionality, and more. The choice of motherboard will dictate what other components can be used in your PC, including the processor, storage, and even the chassis form factor. Our list of the best motherboards features components from MSI, ASUS, and Gigabyte. To help you find the right model, we've listed the top six best motherboards and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help. You choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below, so let's get started. Number 6. MSIB 450 Tomahawk If it's possible to pony up an extra $40, we do recommend skipping over the cheaper entry-level boards. We realize it's a big jump in price, but you do get a significantly higher quality motherboard that will handle any Ryzen CPU you throw at it with ease. The extra investment opens up multiple options, and the best examples include the ASRock B450 Gaming K4, MSI B450 Gaming Plus, and MSI B450 Tomahawk. The options from ASUS and Gigabyte aren't good enough to consider in our opinion. The MSI B450 Tomahawk is a serious standout here, packing an impressive feature set at the current $110 asking price. It's also a nice neutral looking board, black and gray themed, with a dash of RGB lighting that will suit all occasions. That said, if you can afford it, our no compromise option is just $20 more, and frankly, it's worth every penny. Still, if you're stretching the budget as it is, then the Tomahawk is a reasonable compromise. You essentially get everything you typically need on a desktop motherboard, with the addition of a quality VRM that operates at very safe temperatures, even with an overclocked Ryzen 7 processor. MSI hasn't skimped on the VRM components and they haven't skimped on cooling either, providing big heat sinks on both the V-Core and SOC VRM. And the heat sinks aren't covered in tacky looking plastic shrouds. Price to performance the MSI B450 Tomahawk is hands down the best value all-rounder available at the moment. Number 5. Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Hero Of the new generation of Z790 motherboards for Intel 12th and 13th Gen CPUs, the Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Hero is one of the most expensive. But it's also one of the most impressive. And until someone like Kingpin comes along, probably the board of choice for enthusiasts and overclockers. It's a perfect companion to the new Intel Core i9 to 13900K if you're looking to push it to its limits. In that regard, the quality VRMs, 20 plus 1 phase power design, and support for water cooling, well, basically everything, will come in handy. That said, the included heatsinks are extremely beefy and will do a decent job on their own. The BIOS is full-featured and solid while being approachable for newcomers. But it isn't just built for overclocking, it's packing everything any enthusiast could want in building a killer PC. That starts with the sheer quantity of options. Naturally, it supports up to 128GB of DDR5 memory, but you also have a pair of PCIe 5x16 slots, PCIe 4 expansion, M.2 SSD support, Thunderbolt 4, UiFi 6e, RGB, 2.5 grams Ethernet, and even killer audio. As an additional bonus, ASUS includes its Hyper Expansion card, which can be used for either a PCIe 5.0 SSD when they're available, or a pair of PCIe 4.0 SSDs to run in one of the expansion slots. If a motherboard were to tick all the boxes, it's this one. Number 4. Gigabyte X570 Aorus Ultra There are considerably more options for those of you spending around $300. None of them can be considered bad choices which should be no surprise given this is a rather high price to pay for a motherboard supporting a mainstream socket. With that said, you should know the MSI X570 Tomahawk has VRM performance that can surpass many of these at a lower price point. Just make sure it's got the features you want, since it's still a mainstream level offering. The winner in the $300 category is the ASRock X570 Taichi. The board did quite well in our VRM thermal testing, and for $300, it packs loads of features including Wi-Fi 6 3M2 slots with full coverage heatsink, 8 SATA ports, high-quality audio, Intel Gigabit LAN, plenty of USB 3 ports, BIOS flashback, and much more. It's also a great-looking board with some nice lighting effects if you're into that sort of thing. Two worthwhile runner-ups can be either the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Ultra 
or ASUS ROG Strix X 570F gaming. Previous generation boards could also be considered for the savings. If you don't need PCIe 4.0, you might want to check out the X 470 Taichi. It's a very good board that can be had for less, making it great value. Number 3 MSI MAG Z490 Tomahawk With a little more budget, you can get some really nice boards for up around $200. From day one, a standout which we featured in our early 10th gen coverage is the MSI MAG Z490 Tomahawk. It's a great quality motherboard, priced at $190. In our testing, the Z490 Tomahawk peaked at just 74 degrees, running a Core i9 to 10900K, clocked at 5.1 GHz, using 1.35 volts, so you don't need to spend big money to get the most out of Intel's new 10-core processor. Despite the fact that it is extremely power-hungry when overclocked, MSI has gone with a dozen power stages for the V-Core VRM on the Tomahawk, using a dozen 55A power stages for a combined 660 at capacity. MSI also includes massive heat sinks, which weigh a combined 393 grams. For comparison, the MSI Z490 Pro comes with 237 grams worth of heat sinks. You also get some nice features such as 2.5 GB at LAN, USB 3.2 Gen 2 x 2 for 20 Gbps support, and a few extra USB ports when compared to the cheaper boards. Our alternative pick, the Gigabyte Z490 Vision G, might be worth considering over the Tomahawk for two reasons. At $200, it's the only Z490 board in this price range to offer three full-length PCIe X16 slots, though only the primary slot is wired for full X16 bandwidth as LGA1200 processors don't support enough PCIe lanes. The secondary slot is wired for X8 bandwidth, and when in use, will half the bandwidth available to the primary PCIe X16 slot. Then the third slot is wired for X4 bandwidth. The Vision G also offers two extra USB 3.2 ports on the I.O. panel, though it drops gigabit networking while retaining 2.5 GB at the LAN. In terms of VRM performance, the Vision G is roughly on par with the Tomahawk. Also worthy of mention is the Gigabyte Z490 Aorus Elite. We have tested that board, and it's very good. But at the same price as the Tomahawk, we tend to prefer the MSI board. The same is true for the Asus TUF Gaming Z490+. Plus. Overall, another good board. Number 2 Asus ROG Strix X670EE Gaming This is the almost same motherboard as another in this collection by name, but it has a very different socket and chipset. This Asus ROG Strix X670E Gaming is quite the motherboard, designed for AMD Ryzen 7000 series processors. It's got DDR5 RAM support, PCIe 5.0, and the new AM5 socket for good measure. The 18 plus 2 stage power design is fantastic for overclocking your CPU, especially if you're planning to use one of the non-X AMD Ryzen 7000 CPUs. Both full-size X16 PCI slots support the newer PCIe 5.0 standard. Both X16 slots are armored and most of the available M. Two slots also support PCIe 5.0, so you can upgrade this PC further down the line with faster. Components. The all-black 8-layer PCB is paired with matching heat sinks, and a splash of RGB looks as stylish as ever, but it's not just skin deep. You have addressable RGB headers to sync your entire build using ASUS Aura. Overclockers will get some good mileage too, and the LED display in the top right-hand corner to display error codes is a welcome touch. There are also more ports on this thing than you could ever use at once, as well as WI-Fi6E and 2.5 grams Ethernet. It puts a tick in all the important boxes. Number 1. Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Master The Z790 chipset supports 12th, 13th, and 14th gen Intel CPUs and is the latest flagship chipset for the company's products. As such, the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Master is our pick for the best overall Intel motherboard right now. Its price, features, and performance combine to help it rise to the top. The Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Master comes with four DIMM slots, with support for up to 128GB of RAM. This particular motherboard supports DDR5 memory kits, which means you will not be able to use your older DDR4 kits. According to Gigabyte, this board supports up to DDR5 to 8000 memory speeds. It's not necessarily built for serious overclocking, but you can certainly squeeze additional performance out of the processor without issue. Another noteworthy feature of the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Master 
is the fact that it also supports PCIe Gen 5.0. While you can't take advantage of the PCIe 5 slot just yet, we still think it's good to have support for future peripherals. The Aorus Master motherboard also has 5M2 slots, and you also get as many as 4 SATA 6GB connectors with support for RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10. As one of the high-end Z790 motherboards, the Aorus Pro also comes with plenty of connectors and headers to connect all your external peripherals, including fans, pumps, RGB lights, and more. The Asus ROG Strix X570 E gaming motherboard is one of the current flagship chipsets for AMD AM4 builds. It brings full support for PCIe 4, including devices connected to both its CPU integrated controllers. So, that wraps up our list of the best motherboards. If this video was useful to you, kindly click the thumbs up button. Which one are you going to pick? Describe your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an updates. Everyone who had come this far. I'm hoping to see you in the next video.